Thank you for staying with CNN. One life, two diseases, one response. That's the message that will dominate next week's global forum on HIV, the virus that causes AIDS, and tuberculosis, or TB. These two infections can work to shorten the life of the person infected with both. And UNTV has more on the HIV-TB connection. Every three minutes, a person living with HIV dies of tuberculosis. We need bold leadership for scoring a great goal save the lives of many people. International soccer star Figo lending his voice to calls to address the deadly mix of HIV and tuberculosis. The message may be lost on these London school kids, but to the global leaders attending the first ever forum on HIV and TB, the message is clear, that the deaths of nearly a quarter of a million people with HIV every year can and must be prevented. Vigo's message certainly resonates here in Brazil, a country where football is worshipped and TB and HIV is feared. Today, in some districts, HIV tests are routinely offered to anyone with TB symptoms and lung examinations are carried out on all registered AIDS patients. But the quality of these services varies widely across the country. Such challenges are not unique to Brazil. The dual threat of TB and HIV is a massive global problem and a global forum on the 9th of June will speed the process of making HIV and TB a political priority. Among the leaders is the head of the World Health Organization who reminded health ministers recently that progress must continue. The forum takes place at a time when several high burden countries are showing very promising increases in the number of people accessing integrated HIV TB services. Leadership can take this momentum a step further. Ministers attending the World Health Assembly here in Geneva have been hearing the message that addressing the HIV TB co-epidemic is a priority and that is also very feasible. And that same message will be relayed back to their prime ministers and their presidents. UNTV's Glenn Thomas, the CNN World Report.